Hello, future friends. Um, I had posted a video and a couple of pictures from a fog video that I had done um, uh, back in May. And a bunch of people asked me some questions about um, how I achieved the effects that I did. So I wanted to make a short video today to kind of just go over what I used and kind of how I did what I did. If you guys have any questions about that, feel free to reach out um, to me on Twitter at HyperionPDX. I'm sure that'll be posted under my username. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that I have. I am by no means an expert in, um, in this kind of thing. Uh, basically what I did was I Googled uh, how to use a fog machine and kind of went through the steps on YouTube and figured out what I needed. Um, so I'm going to crop this in with a video that I've taken of some of the stuff that I've done. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks. Bye. So one of the first things I did when I was looking into uh, doing smoke and a smoke machine is I just basically looked online after... Halloween one year for a cheap smoke machine that I could get on discount. Uh, I think this one retailed at the time for $30 or no, actually uh, $50 and I think I got it on sale for $30. Um, it has two speeds on and off and um, it's not really the greatest uh, thing in the world, but um, I didn't know if this was going to work. So I just went ahead and bought the cheapest thing I could um, get my hands on to get started and kind of uh, worked it from there. Looked into um, getting some uh, fog. So this is a brand called Bog Fog. Um, this wasn't my first choice. Uh, again, I bought the cheapest thing I could find because I didn't know exactly how this was going to work or if it was going to work at all. And I didn't want to waste a bunch of money on something that wasn't going to work. So um, the first thing I chose was passable. It wasn't great. Um, and when I posted some videos and some comments, uh, somebody pointed me in the direction of bog fog. Um, the reason that this is a little bit better is um, it's more dense and so it will stay on the table longer, which is ideal uh, because you don't want to have something that, um, that kind of, uh, you know, evaporates right away. Um, Lastly here, we've got a homemade um, cool box or ice box. Um, one of the things when I was looking at, uh, at fog machines for visual effects and, and kind of um, haunted houses and such is they found that um, cold fog would be um, more condensed for longer periods than warm fog. Um, warm fog just basically... Um, fills your whatever space you're using with just a blanket of fog. Um, now, with m miniatures and stuff like that, we're not using a whole lot of fog all the time. Um, I have to do a little finagling with um, the fog machine to make it look right, and there are peri long periods of time where there's no, we're not using fog at all. Uh, mostly that's just because if we used it all the time, um, we would get to the point where the room was just filled with smoke and we couldn't see anything. So um, for the videos, it works great because, um, you know, you get that that ambiance that you're looking for. Um, in the new studio space, I'm hoping that, um, that uh, things work a little bit better. Uh, we'll probably have a little bit more ventilation in there so we can run it a little longer. Um, also, when players are around and breathing, um, the smoke machine, uh, the smoke tends to dissipate quite a bit better. That's, that's the word I was looking for, dissipate. Um, so in here, the important tools are the dryer hose, which is what I use to, um, to get the fog up to the table. Um, I have some chicken coop wire in the middle there. Um, that gives us a, uh, a flow for where the fog should go through. Um, and then the last thing, this plastic piece here, is um, is basically how I get the, the smoke from the fog machine into this uh, cool box. Um, and when I'm using the machine for a long period of time, I go out and buy some ice and pack, um, pack some ice in there. That way the fog, one, doesn't get blocked by the ice because of the 
the chicken coop wire, um, but the cold air condenses it, um, so it stays condensed on the table longer. Um, so one tube is attached to one side of this box, the other tube is attached to the other side, and then um, the, the machine is basically just uh, turned on and flows right through. For short videos, um, I typically don't even use ice uh, because the fog's not going to stay on the table that long anyway. Um, I do videos less than a minute or so so that I can post them easily, and um, that's basically it. Okay, so here we have uh, the whole assembly done. Um, one other thing that I didn't include is, uh, so I bought some plumbing equipment, just plumber's pipes, um, to help kind of direct the fog. Um, so you can see here I've attached to the black, um, the black flexible tubing, I've attached a, a large uh, plumber's PVC pipe. Um, I've also, and you can see over here, uh, taped down the hose. Um, this is very fly by night. I'm sure that there's a better way to do this, but um, basically all I care about is that the hose is on the table. Um, typically in the past, what I have done is done it from the corner of the table over by the DM screen where that, uh, that monitor now is. And um, I have uh, used a bunch of tape to basically tape it down. One of the things with the dryer hose that you really kind of need to pay attention to is the more hose you have on the table, the easier it is to get it taped down. Um, but but at this point, it's not going to be a long video, so I'm I'm not really concerned about it. Um, so I've got everything hooked up, got the fog in the smoke machine, and um, the light you can see over here on the on off switch. The light is red, which means it's good to go. So we're gonna give it a test, see what it looks like, and see if we need to make any adjustments. So here you've got the fog coming out. Um, and you can see, if we zoom out a little bit, that we've got it going across the table. One of the things I wanted to take a look at is whether or not this would leave any residue on the tablecloth that we have. It does leave a slight residue on the plexiglass that I have um, and a little bit on the Dwarven Forge, not noticeably so, but you can see here fog coming out of the the screen there, or out of the tube, and um, as it kind of settles down you'll get a nice even layer of fog over the table. You can see it's kind of coming off of the table there. Hey, so just wanted to say thanks for checking out this video. Um, a couple tips at the end here. Uh, one, you absolutely will set your fire alarm off if you leave uh, the batteries plugged in while you're using a smoke machine for any period of time. Um, that's just kind of one of the hazards of a smoke machine. It's uh, the smoke, smoke detector is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So um, I typically will take the batteries out of the smoke machine and then put them right back in as soon as I'm done because I value my home. Um, and uh, lastly, um, I am going to be definitely improving this so that we can start using it on the stream. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to build a new icebox um, for it. Uh, if you have any suggestions about how to improve it, um, other than, you know, keeping it airtight and um, and all of that, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Again, I am Hyperion PDX on Twitter, and check out Mistakes Being Made at Mondays on Twitch at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you have any questions um, about the show, you can also reach out to us on Twitter at MBMRPG.